Hi, uh, this is Miles with Light Harvest Solar. I just wanted to take a minute and talk about why lithium batteries are so much better than lead acid batteries. So let me first show you what I've been running in our off-grid showroom uh, in Portland, Oregon. Um, this is my battery bank that I've been using for a good couple of years now. It's done a great job. Uh, it'll run air conditioning in the summer. It gets me through the winter with my lights, computers, and phone, everything necessary except for heat for the most part. Um, Xantrex 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter, and this is the new battery bank. It's a four cell, they're Calb CA180 FIs, 180 amp hour, 3.2 volts each, essentially replacing the 12 volt battery. Now, what's so impressive about this is that this battery bank will essentially replace that battery bank. Um, this one might have a little bit more capacity, but the reality of it is, is the performance is going to, so far after a little over a week of having this battery, it's outperformed this quite a lot. And um, I expect it to continue to do that. So let me just say a couple things about that. Right off the bat, lithiums are expensive. So... Um, that's the biggest hurdle. Uh, in general, if you get them, you know, you want to get those if you want to invest in some, you know, the best stuff that'll last. Once you start looking at the, the actual math behind it, they pencil out really good. And let me show you why. First off, if you want to power anything big and powerful, saws, drills, microwaves, um, hair dryers, coffee pots, uh, anything that requires heat or a lot of electricity, you've got to have a high discharge rate. So that's been really tough in the past, particularly RVs. If you have something big, you turn on your generator. You have to turn on your generator because nothing, no, your batteries won't push it. Two batteries that are, two typical batteries in an RV will do about 80 amps compared to this, which is about the size of one battery that will do 360. And I pulled a couple hundred amps out of these but um, I have never pulled 360. So I did a little bit of math um, just to demonstrate how much more powerful these are. And so I calculated the discharge to weight ratio of these two battery banks. Um, I used 360 amp discharge at 55 pounds is six and a half amps per pound. 360 amps, I, I just assumed that I could do the same amount with this, even though I don't know if that would really do six, uh, 360 amps. At 600 pounds, that's 0.6 amps per pound. So this, in essential, essentially, uh, the discharge to weight ratio of this um, battery bank is 10 times higher. So anytime you need to really run something powerful, it's you can use a bank 10 times smaller essentially to have the same discharge rate of course you got to figure out a way to recharge the battery quickly with but uh, you do have that discharge rate so um, again the maximum discharge rate is just much higher which is another advantage just the overall um, the overall discharge weight rate is really high makes a lot of stuff possible uh, the, the thing that really makes these um, cheaper then the uh, particularly the absorbed gas matte batteries these are telecommunications absorbed gas matte batteries five hundred dollars new easy something like that um and so if you have these batteries so that's a couple thousand dollars um which is about what this is uh maybe even more but of course you can see that it's a lot smaller and a lot easier to deal with and the 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 biggest economic positive for the lithiums is that they last about four times longer so you can you, you you know you conceivably go through four banks say these are half the price of, of something like this um you still end up having to replace it four times in in in, in the amount of time it would take to do that and, and people are in the lithium world are really doing a very good job um and having really good success rates with uh, lots and lots of cycles. This particular battery, I chose it because it's an electric car battery that is just doing the job. Um, so you get four times the lifespan means a quarter of the price. 
the next big advantage to these is that you can you know essentially replace a 775 amp hour battery bank with a, a 180 amp hour battery bank that's 4.3 times cheaper it's going to cost you so when you start looking at the fact that you the batteries last a lot longer and they um, you can use a lot smaller bank as an equivalent that it, it really doesn't pencil out bad at all there uh, to have them so let me just talk just a moment about the disadvantages of the lead acid battery and, and they are long and varied but I'll just keep it short they're heavy they also have they also spill if they're this vented type and you got to keep them outside if you want them inside you got to get AGMs twice as expensive right off the bat low discharge rates um, you know the fact that when you put a big load on them they the voltage comes way down and the capacity comes way down there's a much lower capacity at high loads there's also a much lower capacity at low temperatures i haven't tested this a lot with these with the lithium batteries so i don't know how those are going to handle those conditions but um so far so good the also when you put a, a lead acid battery bank up to 13.6 volts or, and charge it full as soon as there's no more volt nothing coming in or nothing to charge it and nothing coming out most of them will rest at about 12.8 12.9 right so you go from 13.6 to let's just say 13.0 oh and be optimistic um, whereas the lithiums they'll get up there and then they'll stay there if you get it up to 14.5 It'll stay at 14.5, and then as you take, start to take a load on it, then it'll go down. So they'll hold their voltage. Um, it just seems like they're absorbing it much faster, and they're letting it out much faster. With lead-acid batteries, when you start doing the math and measuring how much is going in and how much is coming out, it seems like the reality is even a factor of two. You, you're putting in a seems so much more than you're getting out. So um, just my, my gut feeling on the lithiums is they're just storing it a lot better, absorbing it a lot better, and pushing it out a lot faster. Uh, so that's, um, that's a couple of the, the advantages and disadvantages of, of the new versus the old. But uh, in general, most of the parameters that I've looked at between my bank, this, and this, these uh, seem to be five, ten times better in a lot of categories. So uh, anyway... We are moving into the lithium age. Thanks a lot. Light, light Harvest Solar, um, check us out.